Well, hey, what's going on YouTube? I want to thank you for checking out this video. And today I want to do a different type of tutorial. I want to answer a question that I get probably more than any other question. And that is people want to know how do I display the keys on my tutorials? So how do I have my keyboard showing as well as those notes on top that are lit up in blue or whatever color they may be at the time. So I want to cover some of those applications and I want to show you how I go about doing that. So the first one I want to cover is Cordy. Cordy is developed by Mac Cat Music. Um, awesome, awesome app. I love it. I've been using it uh, for probably since I guess 2016 or so. Uh, just a powerful app application um, and really this is what you typically see on my videos you see the staff here and let me see let me just play a chord uh, you'll see the actual chord name there here is the actual keyboard now I don't I don't always use this keyboard um, especially now but it was a time when I would I would use all of this in my videos I would use this everything in white here and I will use these uh, I will use these keys now before I move on a couple things that I like with Cordy is that one it works with Mac and PC so if, if, there, if there's some of you who have um, who, who use Windows 10 or something like that you can get it on Windows as well but you can separate these these windows which is uh, pretty decent depending on how much space you have on your screen I'm gonna go back to a, a single window. You can uh, set the color of the of the actual notes. Um, you can set the actual key that you want to register in. Uh, you know, so if you want to if you want to be in F sharp or B E whatever, it'll show up there. And of course, your sharps and, and your flats will register accordingly. So I use Cordy, and then I also use this software developed by Jamal Hartwell and it is called Mediculous. Now I think I love about Mediculous is that I can also have um, my sounds come through Mediculous. So right now I'm using Jamal Hartwell's Neo Soul Key. So that, that's what you hear uh, there. Um, that's what's piping through. So that's one of the things that I that I love, but one of the primary things that I use MIDI keys for or Mediculous is for the keyboard. I really just love graphically the way it looks um, with with Mediculous more than Cordy. So it's really no other reason than I just I just really just like the way it looks. All right, so that's that's what, what I what I use, um, and. What I'm doing is I'm using a software called ScreenFlow. And ScreenFlow is actually recording me right now. So you actually see me in this camera. And simultaneous ScreenFlow is actually recording the keyboard. Or it's, it's actually recording the screen rather. So it's, it, it's recording me and it's also recording the screen. So whatever I have on my screen is going to be recorded by ScreenFlow. And that's one of the things that I love about it in that when I get into post-production, when I get into edit, I can crop out everything that I that, that I don't want. So I crop out all this blue here, all this blue there. I crop out that part of my screen and I only have this showing. Um, I crop out these keys and I only show the keys from Mediculous. All right. And so... You, you, you see that, you know, both keyboards will will register. But again, I only keep the keyboard at the bottom and I crop all this out. What I want to do is quickly walk you through what it looks like when I go in to begin to edit it after I record my keys and I record my screen using ScreenFlow. So typically what I'm going to see when I'm editing and right now I'm actually in ScreenFlow's editor is is I'm going to see this is what popped up on my screen. All right. And what I did was I copied and I pasted that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just crop this and I and I'm just using uh, shortcuts that are unique to ScreenFlow. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of just pulling this over, just 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 cropping everything else out um, so that 
at this top, the, this top layer, what I want is just what appears on the Cordy app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop this next one so I, I get only what appears on Mediculous. So I'll just crop this and let me just pull this over. And then what I then what I have is I have my keys displayed. So I can position this however I, I, I want to position it. Uh, I can make this as large as I want to. I can position it anywhere on the screen, position it over here, position it more towards the middle. And I have a quick presentation. It didn't take me long at all to record it. And it doesn't take long at all to edit it either. And so that is just a uh, quick shot of what it all will look like once it all comes together. So I have my hands displaying. I have Mediculous, which is right there. And then I have the Cordy app, which is appearing up here. So I really hope that that answers your question about what I use to create my video presentations. I'm using Cordy, I'm using Mediculous, and I'm using ScreenFlow. So those three softwares are kind of the backbone of what I do when I create my video presentations. Now, if you are a piano teacher and you want to learn more, you want me to walk you through beginning to end the exact process that I use to create my video presentations from the setup to the recording to the editing and the exporting and all of those details we have a course called video for piano teachers and if it's something that you're interested in you already teach piano or maybe you want to get into teaching piano no matter where you are this training is for you so if you click the link below you check it out you can get 75 percent off of that course right now if that's something that you're interested in but uh, this video again it was really just about exposing the softwares to you i encourage you to check them out on your own uh, to kind of play with them to see if 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 it's something that will work for you um, and if, again if you want more detailed deeper training you want a deeper look at how you can go about this process I encourage you to check the link below and uh, check out that course video for piano teachers so we can help you to create video presentations however you may want to do that all right so again it's Daryl Cook I want to thank you for checking out this video and we look forward to talking to you real soon bye bye